single women own 2.64 million more homes than single men in the U.S. Let me, let me finish this article. So let me say that one more time. Single women own 2.64 million more homes than single men in the U.S., okay? On an average, women earns around 83 cents for every dollar they earn, okay, compared to a man. In the U.S., single women own a total of 10.76 million homes, whereas single men own 8.12 million. There's a difference of 2.64, and the gap is growing. In 48 out of 50 states, single women were found to own more homes. The two exceptions were North and South Dakota, which only three people lived there. And then Louisiana, Alabama, and South Carolina had the greatest share of single women homeowners. Louisiana, Alabama, and South Carolina, on average across the three states, single women own 15% of all owner-occupied houses, whereas single men owned 11%. Although men earn more than women on average, that is not always true for younger generation. According to new Pew Research, uh, center younger women, women younger than 30 earn more than men in cities, including New York, DC, and LA. Let me read that last uh, <laughs> sentence to you again. According to Pew Research Center, women younger than 30 earn more than men. Women younger than 30 earn more than men in New York, Washington, DC, and LA. What do you think about this? these stats? So the first stats like surprised me a little bit but then i kind of clicked for me where um remember the video we did on uh single moms versus yeah. uh, dads that had kids yeah so the far majority go with the mom right and at that point who needs a house if you have kids to provide for versus no kids so if you kind of correlate or if you add the single mothers with kids that are taking care of them in the custody versus a single dad that's taking care of it in custody then the crossover there I can see how those numbers make sense. But then, that, but then, okay, so if your argument's going to be divorce, I just pulled up the top states, 10 states, with the highest rates of divorces. New Mexico is number one. West Virginia is But two. what if you never got married? What do you mean, what if you never in, got in married? In terms of uh, mar uh, kids out of wedlock or kids you never get married. Where uh, a couple splits up, but they've never had a legal yes. marriage. Then you're not divorced. You're just, we're just parting ways. Uh so, so his house goes to her? No, he he, he never had a house. She need, she has need for a house. Yes, because she has the kids. Yeah, but she's taking That's care of a kid, and and the I, expense. I'm not saying yes. Yeah. Then probably so, he's having and a you pitch make in of some less sort. money to be able to buy a house. But you'd also need a house in that situation more so than I understand. Man. You need a house. Yes. Uh, it's there's a difference between needing a house and and wanting. affording a house. Absolutely, affording. Yes. But who's like again? That, that was where I was looking at. It in terms but of the it, more it, interesting thing is, what about the pay inequality? What about that whole argument? Yeah, I mean, in three major cities, this is news to me. Uh, under thirty, women are being paid more, more. than men. That's that's is sexist. That also, is that also? Maybe Can you pull up that article, by the way? Just is, zoom in a little bit. Is that maybe because uh, women under thirty, more of them are going to school and getting a higher education, and especially if you're in one of those three states, yeah. they're very for equality in terms of pay and equal opportunity. Then. You have younger people who are higher educated. I, I, by the way, I want to continue to read this article. I'm actually curious right now. Okay, so we talked about North Dakota and South Dakota. Okay, great. In Florida, Maryland, and Delaware, the difference in home ownership between single men and women was the greatest. Across the three, single women on average owned around 4.5% more homes than men. We're talking Florida, Maryland, and Delaware. There is no yeah. correlation between those three no. states. It's interesting. Well, women are paid less than men on average and earn 83.1% of what men earn, according to U.S. Department of Labor. The figure compares the median wage of all full-time male and uh, female workers in a country using data from 2020 and is the most comprehensive analysis of the gender wage gap to date. According to the data from National Association of Realtors in 2022, 19% of buyers for single women, whereas just 9% were single men. In 2015, single women made up 16% of the buyers, where single men made only 9%. And the gap between single women, that is very weird to look at this. So um, I, I think if you, if you think about who prepares more for a rainy day, that mindset, I, I'm going to give that victory to women. Yeah. Who thinks more long-term by saying, let me at least buy a house and you know, make some kind of an investment. This is a... Um, and if they're single, Pat, and they're dating, then they're not paying for drinks, popcorn at the movies. They're not paying for dinners. Of course they got money to buy out. 
house. They're not out spending. You know what I mean? Because those girls, it's they're single. It's not that they're not dating. You feel me, Rob? Rob, no, Rob is Rob's, Rob's in love. Wrong guy. Rob's married. married. Yeah, you're married. Twelve married years. Guy. That yeah, is nuts. This is a. Uh, everybody here spooked a little bit. It's, it's, I it's, see it's stuff an interesting like step for sure. Yeah. Are you still spooked, Roger, or is this making you think a little bit? I'm not, I'm not making a lot of sense out of it. <laughs> Me too. Because I'm trying to figure out why why those three specific cities. It's very interesting. States. York, yeah, uh, Florida, why, Delaware, Maryland. Well, but also New York. L.A. Uh, L.A., DC. Washington, D.C. Yeah. I mean, Washington, D.C., the government's the biggest employer. Mm-hmm. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but, I, but I can't figure out why the other two. But By the way, this is a... Uh, this is a story to, okay, men typically purchase homes that were $249,000 last year compared to women who purchase homes that were two hundred thirty thousand. It's not a big difference. Yeah. It's not even 10%. It's 5% difference. And sacrifices, women are generally more, uh, uh, more likely to make included cutting out non-essential spending, taking second jobs. It's kind of like what you're talking about, canceling vacation plans. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Wow. Very interesting article. I'd love to see more stats and data uh, on, uh, on this here. I'm canceling my date this weekend, Pat. You guys, say, she's paying for it. Um, she's paying for it because I'm looking at the f- houses. You're a homeowner. I'm not. You You're it. paying yeah, for this Yeah, I don't have tonight. a house. I'm, yeah. I live in an apartment. Yeah. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.